Hey guys, it's Robert with RV Weekends. Thanks for coming back to check out my new video. On this video, I'm going to be taking you on a short journey of my trip to Elkhart, Indiana. And why did I go there? To train for the RV Technical Institute to become a level two certified RV technician. So sit back and relax and enjoy the short journey with me. All right, here's a map of my trip as I leave Mims here in eastern central Florida and head up I-95, cross over to I-10, and then get on I-75 heading north all the way up to Elkhart, Indiana. What a nice trip going through big cities like Nashville, Atlanta, and Kentucky. Yeah, it was a great trip. Let's go. Hello, I'm here at rest area number 34, it says, in Georgia. And I'm about 49 miles from Tennessee on I-75 heading north. Beautiful day here. Temperature's great. Not cold, not hot, and sunny. And the little Ford Fiesta is performing great. I like it, man. The gas mileage is an excellent. I haven't done the math yet, but I took pictures of the of the gas pump and how many miles on the odometer, how many gallons I put in. So I'll do the conversion here later. But this is a nice rest area. Crazy going through Atlanta. Just crazy. Back on the road. Well, I made it. Here I am. It's Sunday before my class starts, and I made it to the RV Institute, Technical Institute, and this is the facility right here that I'll be coming here tomorrow in the morning at 8 a.m. So the little Ford Fiesta made it, and great gas mileage, by the way. And look what across the street over here is Thor, Motor coach, 
human resources and transportation. So this is the mecca for RV manufacturing. So I already drove by the, another Thor place. So, and right down the street was the Dometic distribution center. So looking forward to getting to know all these places and trying to get contacts so I can, you know, get parts and stuff like that for the RVs that I do repairs for. So look at that, go RVing. So we're ready to do it tomorrow morning. All right, after visiting the RV Technical Institute, I drove off to look around for some other RV dealers and distributors as I went through Horse River and Thor and then I came across some Grand Design RV trailers. And then I drove past it by accident and I ended up in Michigan, <laughs> totally by accident. Wanted into Michigan. I had to pull a U turn and head back to Indiana. And right there across the border was the Grand Design headquarters. All right, I made it here to Grand Design RV store. Check it out. And for those of you who don't know it, Grand Design is the manufacturer of my RV that I live in full time. So after doing that visitation of the Grand Design headquarters, I headed on back to my Airbnb. And yeah, I got a great deal, like 50 bucks a night at this Airbnb. So let's show it to you. All right, I'm pulling into my uh, street that takes me to the Airbnb. It's a cool little alley. There's a beautiful tree here with pretty flowers. And then I pull around this back street and here it is. I back in with my little neon green Ford Fiesta. And here is the access to my little Airbnb. It's quite very nice. Let's check it out. my airbnb it was quite quaint and beautiful and i really enjoyed it and time to go to bed and wake up and go to school and one of the first things i noticed they had these special tools you could buy there if you didn't have any that was quite convenient Let's go inside the lab and check it out. This is where we did experiments with uh, electrical, gas, air conditioning, plumbing. We did all kinds of cool lab work. Here's the air conditioners. And then we move over here. We got some electronics and circuit boards. Those are on the other side. And then we have some sliders and some siding. Very exciting. And we move over here, we got some water heaters. Very cool. And then on the other side, we got some refrigerators. We got an RV over there on the left. Here's the refrigerators. And then on the other side of that, we actually had some plumbing work to do. Here's these makeshift framing for a bathroom sink. Cool lab. And here we did actually hook up a water heater and plumbing, fresh water intake, water pump, and level sensors it's on the side of the water tank to tell you how full the water tank is so it was quite a fun time to be in the lab uh, i'm going over here to another lab table this is where we actually worked on furnaces we pulled out a furnace there's actually a furnace 
uh, below the top drawer. The top drawer was like a circuit board um, test and assembly. Here's where we created circuits to test them to see if what we created worked. And here's a unique little board. This is a system checkout where they could create problems and you had to solve them to find out what's wrong. So they could push a button and make a problem happen and you had to find out what the problem was. Really cool area. Here was a small sampled slider, like your rooms that slide out on an RV. And here we are back at the AC trailer where you can test out air conditioners and find out what the problems are. They could recreate problems just like the other board, so you'd have to find out what's going on, why the air conditioner won't work. Very cool lab, really enjoyed it, and it was well worth the trip. Also, while we were there, we had a special representative from Blue Ox with the anti-sway hitches and weight distribution hitches. He came over and uh, showed his equipment as well as a braking system in a car. When you're towing a car, like a Class A or something towing a car, they had to have uh, a system that would apply the brakes to the car while you're towing. Or if the car came disconnected, it would apply the brakes. All right, now I'm just going to show you a montage of all the pictures I took while I was there, while we were working on projects and systems that we were analyzing, circuit boards we were looking at, capacitors, all kinds of wiring harnesses and diagrams from our books. So many things to look at, compressors on air conditioners. So this is just a little montage to give you a taste of all the information I had to retain to pass the test. So here we go. Just a sample of what I had to learn to become a level two certified RV technician. And level one, here's my certificate. And then I quickly jumped on to level two to complete that at the RV Technical Institute. So level one is basically a, an inspector type guy who knows the basic overall stuff of how RV works. And then level two, you work into troubleshooting and diagnosing systems that within the RV need to be repaired then level three level three is when you take certified training of 24 hours on each component like appliances or electrical or chassis electronics slide outs then when you complete all five categories you move into the master certified technician level well that's gonna do it folks for my trip to elkhart indiana for the RV Technical Institute final exams and I completed them and passed them and now I'm heading home all the way back to Florida yeah so if you enjoyed the video please give me a like and if you want to see more content just like this as well as my trips around the state of Florida all over the Springs and state parks Disney World home movies and great nature views subscribe to my channel hit that notification bell if you want to get a notification when i upload my newest video and do me a favor share this video with a friend as you'll help my channel grow thanks for watching rv weekends and i hope to see you back next time